Today's video is a highly requested jewelry tour. I'm gonna to be discussing my favorite, most worn pieces of 2023. I thought with the year coming to an end, it was only fitting that I did this at the end of the year. So today, I'm super excited to be talking to you guys about my most worn jewelry pieces. And if you're someone that gets offended over other people spending money, their money, parents' money, then you probably don't wanna watch this video. However, in this video, I will not be discussing high jewelry pieces, I'll be discussing only everyday kind of jewelry pieces. This video will feature diamonds, lab grown as well as natural diamonds from various different brands. If someone else discussing expensive things triggers you, bothers you, aggravates you, this is probably the wrong channel to be on. You should probably go watch someone else doing a fast fashion haul because this is not a fast fashion video. This is a luxury video. Although I do sometimes mix it up, today is not one of those videos. Today we're gonna be discussing jewelry as in gold and diamonds, real gold, real diamonds, and some lab grown diamonds. If you're interested in lab grown diamonds, you'll definitely enjoy this. I'm someone that is definitely for lab grown diamonds. I know it's a very controversial topic. A lot of people are very much against it, but at the end of the day, a diamond is a diamond. I really don't give a shit. I said it each to their own. First, we're gonna start off with the most exciting thing for me personally, because this is something I've been working on for several years. I'm currently in the process of like moving all my stuff. So the background is a bit of a mess, but it's fine. I am gonna start by talking you guys through my daily wrist stack. This is something I've been curating and working on for several years, and I'm so excited to finally show you guys. There are pieces I actually haven't unboxed on here. I just felt like it was a bit crass and I didn't wanna do it. They are expensive and I know this is a luxury channel and I know you guys like seeing luxury pieces, but sometimes it's just a bit cringe. Like I even find like filming hauls cringe these days, but ultimately it's what you guys enjoy. I think doing videos like this is a lot more interesting for me so I can talk through the pieces and explain them without discussing really the prices and coming off as too braggy. Hopefully that's not what this is. However, my wrist stack. I was that girl that fell in love with Kylie Jenner's wrist stack back in the day when she had a whole bridal arm of love bangles. Of course, we all went out and bought love bangles when we saw that. How could you not gag at that wrist stack? That was just flawless. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I took off my plain love bangles several years ago. I feel like just, it feels like 10 years ago. I don't remember the last time I wore my single plain love bangle. Like I just felt like it was super basic and it just, it just looked dead. Like it became all scratched up and it was just looking awful. Like each to their own. If you guys are still into the plain love bangles, like I'm not bashing it. I just don't personally like it myself. I now have two love bangles, which I wear. The first is, I first got this one. This was the most precious. Well, this actually is the most precious piece in my collection. I absolutely love this one. It is the full Cartier love bangle in yellow gold. It is stunning. I then got the Cartier Clash. I got this for my birthday and it was right when it came out, probably like, I think it was maybe a month or two after it came out, I decided to buy it and I absolutely fell in love with it when I saw it. I was like, this is such a unique piece. Either people are gonna love it or they're gonna hate it. I thought this would blow up and everyone would be buying this because I really love it. I think it's a great piece because it is so intricate, it's so beautiful, but it's also very versatile. It's quite rigid, so it's not gonna break and it's a great daily piece. I then got the thin version of the Cartier Love Bangle in full Parve diamonds, but this is in rose gold. I don't know if you guys can see, but the rose gold, these both are rose gold from Cartier. This is slight, it's pink, but it's also not yellow, but this is also slightly pinkier than this one, which is really strange. I kind of love that each different house has their own kind of rose gold. Like every single brand has their own rose gold. Like I know with Bulgari, there's a lot pinker compared to the Cassia rose gold, but I absolutely love this together. I feel like they all look more or less the same and they just kind of work. I typically love wearing yellow gold and white gold. I don't really love mixing white gold with rose gold. I feel like it just doesn't look as good. It gives too cool of an energy. I don't know if you guys get that, but I do love mixing golds together. So these were my first three Cartier bangles. And then I got this one. This is actually a Bulgari. This is the Bulgari Serpenti Viper. I absolutely love this. We're not gonna talk about the nail. <laughs> I absolutely love this. This is in plain rose gold with diamonds. And I know that it's a bit ostentatious to wear diamonds like this on a daily basis, but I feel like I'm at an age where it's okay, but I will never be caught dead wearing a full stack of every single thing I own. Like I did that when I was younger, like 25, 24, 
we're just not doing it now. It's just a bit cringe. The older you get and the more like you try and show off like high jewelry and evening jewelry for me is a different vibe completely. These are pieces I like to wear daily. Like these are my daily go-to pieces. And the reason I say that these are daily go-to pieces, obviously for someone else, these are luxury pieces you'd wear in the evening. However, for me, I need durability, versatility, and I need them to not get tarnished or look disgusting. And these are four pieces. Well, actually, technically, I don't really wanna wear this one as daily anymore. These are three main pieces which are super sturdy and are perfect for daily use because, like I said, they're durable, they're not gonna break, they're not gonna become all, like, even if they do get scratched up, it's fine. But they're great pieces to wear as dailies. If I wanted to add white gold into my stack because sometimes I like mixing my golds, I will add the Hermes, I don't even know what this is called, but I like adding this in the middle when I'm wearing like four bangles, just to break it up. Again, this is not really a daily piece, but it kind of is to me. It depends, it depends what you think a daily piece is. Like I will wear this as a daily, just to like add a bit of white gold. I like that these are all bangles and they're all sturdy. I used to add in my full tennis bracelet and I had this string attached because the clasp would just keep coming off and obviously I didn't want to lose it. I mean, I do like how that looks, but also at the same time, I just didn't like how it was just not sturdy like the rest of the bangles. It just didn't give the rigid look that I wanted it to give and I like how all the bangles are rigid and I'm not concerned about them getting caught or stuck in things. However, saying that, I liked how this looked as like a full diamond bracelet, just solid diamonds, but I didn't like it being a chain, so I had a bangle made in yellow gold. So this is the bangle I had made. It kind of gives an effect of a tennis bracelet, but like a really small one, if I add it to the stack, and I liked it because it was just full diamonds. It kind of gave the effect of like a full, small diamond tennis bracelet. I do definitely think I'm gonna get this in the white gold just to add some more white gold to my stack. I've never really been a white gold girl. However, recently I've kind of been obsessed with white gold. I think it's because it's the winter. I'm feeling cold. I'm not as tanned. I don't know. I'm just getting into white gold more, which is why I recently started purchasing white gold pieces. Like if you look at my ear stack, typically I've only ever worn white gold in my ears. This is a particular stack from a brand called Ideal, which I previously spoke about last month. I absolutely love their pieces. These are solid gold but with lab grown diamonds. These are absolutely fantastic everyday pieces because when I say everyday pieces, like I was discussing, durability is very important, but they also need to be pieces I can wear in the shower and ideally sleep in. I'm not someone that sleeps in all my jewelry. I do tend to take out, like I'll take out the ear cuffs, but the studs I'll keep in. I don't wanna be fussing in the mornings. I like to wake up and be like, I'm covered in diamonds. I love that feeling. Obviously when I'm washing my hands, I don't wanna be concerned about it, which is why I've got no Van Cleef pieces, bar this one, in my current daily stack because Van Cleef pieces are not great for everyday use. There are a few which I will discuss. With me, it's very important that earrings in particular are good for daily use. I don't like costume jewelry when it comes to earrings because I have an issue where I'm allergic to fake gold and I can't wear fake gold in my ears because I don't know why, I just get like a little crispy ear and it's just, I know there are other people that get that. You can have an allergy to gold, like it's normal. Like I have a friend who's allergic to pink gold, rose gold, because she's allergic to copper. So she'll be wearing, she has like a beautiful full diamond Cartier bracelet and she cannot wear it because she's allergic to pink gold. She'll break it on a rash. But I'm actually allergic to anything fake gold. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that to sound pretentious, but it really is a thing. I will end up with having a, I will end up with a crusty ear. And like, let's be honest, I've already had to sacrifice one ear hole. I'm not trying to sacrifice another one, the only one I have left. I only have one piercing in this ear. I do wish to get more. However, right now, I don't want to sacrifice my sleep. So we're not getting another piercing. And I feel like with ideal pieces, I don't really have to because they're so beautiful. As you guys can see, this is almost like a little creeper earring in full diamonds. And then I've got two ear cuffs on. One is attached with a string and then the other one is just like a little clip-on piece, well, hook on. So like I mentioned, I love mixing my gold. So on this ear, I've got white gold. And then on this ear, I've got the yellow gold. I absolutely love, I started off buying yellow gold from this brand 
and I love it. There's so many different variations I have of these pieces. And the best thing about Ideal is that you can change the pieces. They're very much modular, so you can add or remove depending on your mood. Like for instance, if I didn't wanna wear the cuff, I could take off the cuff and just unhook it. I love that it's attached with a string so I know for sure it's not coming off. I'm quite clumsy that way. However, I feel like their little huggies are quite secure. I could take it off and then I could just have this. And if I didn't just want that, I, I wanted something else. There's so many options and like so many cute pieces. They make great gifts. And then you've got this. This comes down the lobe. You can just place it anywhere you like. I have this little tray where I keep all my stuff and I actually got this from the brand. I could even, we can add the stud. They've got three sizes of the stud so you can choose which stud you like. And if you see, there's four different hole placements. So depending on where you want to put the stud, you can move it around. And this is with the majority of their pieces, which I think is great. So I'm gonna leave that there, but I'm also not gonna just leave that as is. I'm going to add this little dangly charm. Ooh, and then I've got a little creation like that. And there's this dangly little charm. I think it's so adorable. And I love that I've now picked up both yellow gold and white gold from the brand so I can mix and match depending on my mood. And I love mixing and matching. I'm really getting into white gold these days, although I love yellow gold still. Yellow gold will always be my favorite. White gold sometimes just looks better with certain outfits and certain vibes. And I also feel like white gold really brings out the sparkle of diamonds. And I don't know if you guys can see, but they really do sparkle. These diamonds are so bright and shiny. In fact, yesterday I used the, the shine spray and I cleaned all my jewelry pieces. Ideal actually has a shine kit, which is so lovely. You can use their shine spray to literally clean any jewelry. So I actually use it on all my Cartier pieces and it looks fantastic. I really love this piece. This is like a little hoop earring. And that is that. It's such an elegant, like easy everyday piece, but it's so interesting to look at. Like if I've got my hair up, I always get compliments when I'm wearing these pieces. Like people are always like, oh, I love that. Where is it from? You got how many holes do you have to create this curated little ear? And I'm like, literally one. I have one hole in each ear and it's just, I thought it was frustrating until I found this brand. I'm like, wow, I actually can play around so much with these pieces that I think it is fantastic. No, I'm actually obsessed, like I'm obsessed. I think I'm just gonna put in a plain stud. So this is a Marquise diamond that I got gifted for my birthday. It comes as a set, but I really love this diamond. I actually don't wear this diamond as often as I used to. I've stopped wearing big studs because don't know if you guys know this, but it actually enlarged the size of my hole. Yeah, so can't be wearing heavy diamonds because it made my hole too big. And I eventually had to get it cut up and sewn back together, which is really frustrating because I loved having two holes. It just meant I could use more jewelry in my ear. And I mean, it's fine, but I love having an unbalanced ear. <laughs> in fact, I could probably move this cuff over here and I'd like to apologize for the noise in the background. There's currently construction still going on. Ooh, now my ears are complete. You guys should definitely check out Ideal because it is such a great brand. You can pick up pieces for yourself or gifts. I love gifting these pieces to friends. Instead of like gifting each other charms, which is like super childish in like 2001, we now gift each other like small little dainty diamond earrings. They're affordable and they're flawless and the quality is fantastic. If you guys watched my previous video, I did a luxury haul. I did a full unboxing of what you get and honestly, the packaging alone is beautiful. It's sustainable. Then let's move on to necklace. Now necklace stack, typically you will find me wearing this Van Cleef necklace. It only comes in yellow gold or if you're really that bitch, you can get the full diamond version in white gold, which is stunning. I think I've got that on my wish list for my birthday. I don't know if I'm gonna get it because I have something else planned for my birthday. This is such a great piece. It's super dainty and I love wearing this with all different kinds of Van Cleef necklaces, particularly for daily use. I will wear it with like a one motif necklace. Obviously this is the holiday pendant. I don't know if I did an unboxing of it. I don't remember if I did, but this is the holiday pendant from this year and you basically, can mix and match it with anything. Typically, because it is rose gold, I like mixing it with rose gold or I'll mix it with yellow gold. I have, currently I have two pieces of yellow gold one motif necklaces. This is one. This is the piece I got for my birthday, I think last year, this is from my mum. So this is the yellow gold Alhambra in the guiloche style. So it's like, it's not hammered, but it's got like these dainty grooves in it. And I really love this piece, again, 
great everyday piece. However, because it's got these delicate grooves, it's quite dainty. So I don't recommend wearing this as a daily piece because you need to be super careful that it doesn't get scratched up and ruined. So I either wear this piece, I'll have to take this off in the shower. All the other jewelry pieces I can wear in the shower, I'm not fussed about, but this, because it has a stone, it needs to be taken off. You have to be super careful with all Van Cleef stone pieces because, well, most, especially the mother of pearl because they are so soft and they shrink in water. If you didn't know, they shrink in water. So when I see girls wearing their Van Cleef pieces in the pool or at the beach, I'm just like, <sighs> did no one tell you? It's just money down the drain and replacing the stones is a lot of money. You might as well replace the entire bracelet, trust me. My sister has already cracked her Malachite stone and I'm just like, you're definitely not taking mine. Anyways, I love this. I also wear the full diamond Alhambra, I actually don't know where that is. I have a yellow gold and I have a rose gold. I don't mind wearing yellow gold or rose gold with this necklace. I feel like this necklace goes with so many different variations. If I'm not in the mood for yellow or rose gold, then I will wear a subtle tennis necklace. I've only recently gone into tennis necklaces, although I got this a while ago. I was like, I feel like it's a bit mature. I don't know if I can pull it off. At the end of the day, you should be able to wear whatever the hell you want and just go with the vibe. Now I love actually layering with the tennis necklace. It gives more of a me vibe as opposed to a mature vibe. I feel like layered, it's great. So I typically layer this. This is actually a piece I had made with my jeweler. It's a full diamond tennis necklace. So if I don't feel like wearing just the tennis necklace alone, I also have these two pieces in yellow and white gold from Ideal, which I really like to just add. I think they add something a little extra. Like I said, I love layering with a diamond tennis necklace. I think it just adds a little something extra and it doesn't look as mature and like adult as I would like it to because sometimes I'm not that girl. Sometimes I like wearing it alone if I'm just wearing like a sweatshirt. Sometimes I want something elegant that's not like a Cuban chain. Sometimes a little diamond tennis necklace just adds a little sophistication. I just love layering everything. I just love layering, but like keeping it dainty and not OTT and not like ostentatious or pretentious in any kind of way. So these two are lab grown, but if you look at the lab grown versus the natural diamond, there is no difference. They are literally the almost exact same. The only difference is lab grown are diamonds grown in a lab. Natural diamonds are not grown in a lab, but they're literally the exact same thing. Then for my rings, you guys know I went through a ring phase, I went through a bangle phase. And now I'm going through more of an earring phase. My rings, typically these are the five I like to wear on a daily basis. My ring stack consists of three Cartier Loves. These two are both yellow gold. The middle one is a full pave yellow gold. And then I've got these two. This is the thin nail. And then I've got the thin double nail, which I love. The double nail only has diamonds on the head and the thin one is a full pave. I think they look cute together. I mean, you can wear these separate, you can wear all of these separately, but I don't like having too many rings on because it just like restricts me and I hate driving when I have too many rings on because then it just hurts my hands. Also shaking people's hands, it's just uncomfortable for me. Holding hands is uncomfortable for me. So I like keeping my rings quite minimal these days. Although I've previously done quite a lot when it comes to rings. It just depends on my mood. And these again, great everyday pieces because they're durable. They don't get tarnished when I wash my hands or when I'm in the shower. I do take them off when I'm in the shower because I just, I don't want them to slide off, obviously. When I wash my hands, I don't want to be concerned about the rings getting tarnished or like becoming silver or turning black. So solid gold is always something I like to wear on a daily basis. It has to be solid gold. It cannot be plated because anything plated will eventually tarnish or just become gross and cheap looking. If I'm feeling like wearing white gold, then on a daily basis, I don't actually own too many white gold pieces because I've only recently got into white gold, but this is the full Bulgari Serpenti ring in white gold. I do have this in rose gold. They only released the yellow gold recently and they only did limited numbers. So I didn't manage to get the yellow gold, but that again, that is something that's been on my wish list for a while because I have the matching yellow gold bangle. I didn't get the rose gold bangle because I had every intention of getting the yellow gold bangle and ring. So I was like, let me get the, let me get the bangle first and then I'll get the ring. So that's kind of how it ended up. But these again, even though they are full diamond rings, they are perfect for everyday use and they don't become gross looking or disgusting. And they're also fairly adjustable. So I've got both in size small. However, 
the small varies, like all their sizes vary. You have to go in and try on the ring and see which one fits you best, which is what I had to do. And ultimately I've got small, which fit on a variety of different fingers. So it's fantastic. Let me know what you guys think. Those are a majority of my most worn pieces. I didn't go through all because I feel like this video would get too long, but when it comes to main everyday pieces, like I said, I don't wear everything all at once anymore. I've grown out of that phase. Like it's just giving tacky. And when people would say it to me, I was like, you're just a hater. I get it now. I'm too old to be doing that. So I don't do it anymore. Ultimately, I do love still having a mismatch curation of different brands and different pieces. I think it's great mixing and matching jewelry. Yeah, so those are my most worn everyday pieces. And these all are great pieces to wear every day in the shower in the pool in the sea and they're not going to get tarnished they're not going to get ruined they are solid gold with flawless diamonds let me know what you guys think and if you do check out ideal make sure you follow them because they sometimes have amazing discounts and sales so you can check them out on instagram and on their socials i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching i will see you in my next video